Hello, welcome to my bookshelf, and today I'm super excited to share with you my latest book haul. So let's just jump into the book. So my book of the month pick for July then is The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. This is a thriller, as you can probably tell. I absolutely love thrillers, so it was a pretty easy choice for me this month. The beginning of this story is about this game of two truths and a lie, and one of the friends, and it's like a campfire at this campsite, I think, and one of the girls goes missing, and they never find out, I guess, what happens to her. And so then, like, we flash forward to, like, years later, and I guess our main character is going to go back to this camp for some reason, and hopefully find out what happened to her friend all those years ago. So, interesting premise. I'm kind of curious to see where it goes. Um, the real reason why I got this, though, is because I've heard such great things about the other book that Riley Sager has written, but I have not actually read yet. So I decided, with an extra book on Book of the Month, that I would get... Final Girls! Um, this one sounds really cool and a lot of fun. So this is also a thriller and the Final Girls refers to these girls that are the like sole surviving, I guess, victim, if you will, of these like horror movie-esque like massacres that actually survives the entire thing while all of her friends end up like getting murdered, okay? She would be the final girl, right? So. There's a several different uh, like horror movie style murders that happen. So these different girls are called the final girls. You know what I mean? They're they're from different like horror movies, if you will. And then I think now they're kind of slowly dying one by one. I think that's the premise of the story. It sounds really cool and interesting. I really don't think I did a good job of explaining it, but it does sound really cool. So I'm very excited for this one. So. I'm hoping that they're both good. And also, since I've never read any of these, I'd be very curious to hear what you guys think about like what order I should read them in. They're not actually directly related to each other from my understanding. They're just, you know, two thrillers from the same author. Should I read uh, the first book that they wrote first or the newer one first? So please let me know. <laughs> I would love your input. So those are my book of the month picks. There's two of them. Uh, moving right along, uh, the rest of the books in this haul are just other books that I got. So the first three books then actually are basically memoirs, which is kind of random. It just kind of happened that way. Uh, the first of which is Thinking in Numbers by Daniel Tamet. Apparently he's a mathematical savant, which is really cool and a best-selling author. So kind of an interesting combination because you just don't normally think of mathematicians being very literary. Um, so I like that he really enjoys and is passionate about both of those things. And I'm just genuinely curious to read about his experiences. I just think it'll be really interesting. Um, I don't know a whole lot about savants in general, so that'll be kind of interesting to get his own personal insights on what that's like for him. Obviously, it's different for everyone, um, but it'll be really, really cool, I think. And then the other two memoirs are actually celebrity memoirs, both by comedians. Um, the first of which is Steve Martin, and we have Born Standing Up. Pretty straightforward. Steve Martin is hilarious, if you don't already know, which you should, because it's Steve Martin. He's hilarious. And then there's Mindy Kaling. Why not me? Um, she's also hilarious. I know her from The Office. That's where I first saw her. She's great. Yeah, she's just another funny lady, and this is her book, so I had to get it. So, those are my memoirs. The rest are all fiction. And uh, the next one I actually got because of the author, and that is Gone Baby Gone by Dennis Lehane. He wrote Shutter Island, which I read last year, and I really, really enjoyed. So I'm very excited to read more from him especially one that I don't already know the story for, so it'll be genuinely surprising when I read it and interesting. I don't know a whole lot about this one, but I guess there's uh, some investigators investigating a missing person's case. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see if they can find this missing person. So there's that one. Uh, the next book that I hauled is it's kind of a funny story by Ned Vizzini. So I guess the premise of the story is that it's, you know, it's a YA book. So our main character is a teenager and he finds himself in a psychiatric hospital. I'm not sure the details of that, but I guess it's, it's his experiences in the psychiatric hospital. 
So it's supposed to be funny. Um, I hope it'll be interesting. I hope that it deals with mental health issues in a, in a good way, in a respectful way, um, and not just condemning people who have mental health issues or looking down on them or just making fun of them. I don't know. I'm a little worried about that, so we shall seem a little apprehensive, but it could be an interesting read, so we shall see. Uh, the next book I got is Today Will Be Different by Maria Semple, and this is a contemporary book, and it just sounded kind of intriguing, and I can kind of relate to our main character, I think. As the title suggests, she wants to make today different, you know? I think she's kind of been living a, a drab, kind of mundane life for a while now, and kind of just stuck in a routine, maybe, and wants to kind of break out of it and do something different. Um, but I guess this day that she decides to do things differently isn't working out so well for her. Like, I think that everything just kind of goes wrong that can go wrong kind of a thing. Um, and it's just her dealing with that. I think we can all relate to that on some level, even if this is maybe more extreme. And I feel like I've heard good things about this, so we'll see what I think. The next book I've got is not something I would normally pick up on my own, but Again, it's kind of the goodwill effect where it's so cheap and I'm mildly intrigued and I'm like, sure, why not? So <laughs> I picked up a fantasy book uh, called An Ember in the Ashes. This first off has a great cover, so that just automatically um, made me excited for it, but also I've heard about it on booktube. I feel like this is one of the fantasy books that people like. Sounds like it could be interesting. This is a YA fantasy. I'm not going to even attempt to kind of explain the story to you because I really don't know. Fantasies, I think, are really hard to give like a short synopsis because there's a lot of background that you have to understand about this world that is different from our own, that it makes it hard, I think, to like sum up <laughs> in a really short synopsis. I'm not really sure exactly what it's about, but like I said, I've heard good things about it, so I wanted to pick it up. Okay, and then the last book in this haul is my bookie box book. <laughs> so the book that came in that. So I guess this is a spoiler for my bookie box. Um, you can check out my unboxing if you would like to be like fully surprised by the experience and see everything that came in that box. You can check that out. Um, but if you don't care about that, um, here is the book that comes in the June bookie box. Um, it was The Bird and the Blade by Megan Bannon. So this one also involves a scenario where the main character is trying to win someone's hand in marriage, but they're not actually interested in that person. Like they're doing it in order to save other people or themselves. This one, there's riddles. There's three riddles that uh, our main character has to solve. And if they don't solve them though, if they fail at this task, they die. So the stakes are pretty high, I would say. Um, I'm very curious about what these riddles are going to be like. If they're just like word related riddles, you know what I mean? Like riddles in the dark from The Hobbit. Or if it's going to be like puzzles, if you will. Obviously there's more going on besides that, but I think that's just kind of the main thrust of the story. So we'll see how it goes. But this is the book in the latest bookie box that I got this month. Alright, so there you have it, my latest book haul. Uh, please let me know what you think of any of these books, and as always, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, and until next time.